I'm your host, Ruud Rees, and tonight we've got an amazing lineup of text-to-speech voices ready to show you how far they've come and if they are ready to replace human voiceovers. Welcome to Beyond Scott Voice Talent. Let's get the first voice on the stage. What's your name? My name is Anna HQ. Hi, Anna HQ. And why is HQ part of your name? Because I'm high quality compared to the normal text-to-speech voices. Okay, very well. And what are you going to perform tonight? Can I just call you Anna? Anna is fine. Well, I'm gonna count to ten. All right, Anna. The stage is yours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you, Anna. That was interesting to hear an AI kid's voice. Let's get the next voice talent on stage. What's your name, sir? I'm Brandon HQ. Brandon, and what's cool about your voice? Well, I think I sound a bit like that guy, Jesse Pinkman, from Breaking Bad, so I'm going to imitate him. All right. Give it your best. Hey, yo, Mr. White. I'm tired of living in a basement that stinks of dry cleaner. Jesse's out. Bitch. Okay, Brandon. Thanks for that line. Next voice, please. I'm Sarah. My voice is light and a little throaty if you know what I mean, and I'm probably between 15 and 25. I'm just gonna say an English pangram, which is a sentence that contains all letters of the alphabet. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Sounds good, Sarah. Who's next in line? Guy is my name. And gender, I guess. <laughs> I sound a bit like Seth MacFarlane when I say Stewie. Stewie. I've got a light voice, I think, and my tonality is pretty interesting because it varies when I talk. Always good with confidence in yourself. Who's after you? Ashley A. I'm not an HQ voice, so I'm just here to make the others look good with their fancy AI HQ skills. Do you think that you might be the reason why people have a bad impression of text-to-speech voices? Well, not me personally, but yes, the way I talk sounds robotic and weird, so that's probably why most people don't use synthetic voices. I heard you have your sister, Ashley B, with you today, who is an HQ voice. Can we get her on stage? Yes, I'm Ashley's sister, Ashley B. Clearly a major upgrade, as you can hear. How I stress words, tie sentences together, and the way I drag the endings, gives my voice a soft touch that's perfect for storytelling, for example. Thank you, both of you. And what are your names, gentlemen? We are Christopher, Eric, and Jacob. Yes, I'm Eric and my voice is in that nice mid-tone range. I guess I sound like I'm in my mid-40s or something. So, I'm Jacob, and sound a bit lighter, higher pitch. And I'm also not that great with tonality, so I talk more flat. But some like that for factual explainer stuff. Last but definitely not least if I may say so, Chris again. I've got that deep, bassy male voiceover vibe that we all love, right? Do I sound a bit like Ken Burns, a soft touch to the words, great for storytelling? Great. And let's end the show with a group performance by the lovely Seven Synthetic Sisters. Jenny is me, the default of voices. I speak pretty fast and make all the right choices. My name is Amber, and my voice is airy. Some people tell me I sound like a fairy. Cora I am. What I say is a fact. I want to be trustworthy, so I've made my voice flat. Elizabeth, deeper and slightly mature. You can think of a video for me I am sure. Like Jenny I'm fast and Aria is my name. Choose me from the list to step up your game. I sound a bit tighter. I'm Monica HQ, between 30 and 40 and perfect for you. To end our performance, here is Michelle. I'm lower, relaxed, straightforward and chill. Thanks to all of you. And we'll let the audience know that all of these English voices can be found inside Beyond. If you want to learn more about how to create animated characters in Beyond, like I created mine for this video, you can watch this free lesson from my course Go Beyond Beyond. I'm Rod Rees, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.